what if I told you guys that you could come to Vegas and do Vegas on a hundred dollars a day and that includes staying here at the beautiful Bellagio Hotel. Come along, I'm gonna show you how. So today's video, we are going to be doing a challenge video where my mom and I each have $100 for the entire day. And that includes room, uh, food, drinks, entertainment, transportation, pretty much anything. We can only spend up to $100. Even if you're not a big gambler or not really a gambler at all, you actually can still get free rooms at places like the Bellagio or Aria, these upscale luxury rooms. You can actually get for free by playing a game called My Vegas. So we're gonna keep tally. We're gonna have her, her spendings on one side and my spendings on another because we're gonna probably get a couple different things. But um, this way you guys can kind of take a look and see how you can do budget or how you can do Vegas on a budget. It is very doable. And I think there's this misconception that you have to spend a lot of money in Vegas when you're here, when that's really not the case. So with that said, let's get this video started. We're gonna go get some breakfast to start and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places to get a good, cheap breakfast. Okay, let's get going. For breakfast, we are here at the Planet Hollywood Miracle Mile Shops. They actually have a few different places you can choose from to eat for a really cheap meal for breakfast. We are actually at Blondie's, which is kind of like a sports bar type one, but you actually can see behind me La Salsa Cantina where the pink is. That's another one where you can get a really good breakfast. So this one, I'll go over all the pricing with you and everything when we get our meal, but uh, if you're here on a budget, Definitely recommend coming in for to Blondie's for a good, quick breakfast. Hello. Sunny, sunny side up? Uh, sunny side up. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 All right. The food just arrived. So we actually got the breakfast special. It's not shown on the actual menu, but there's a little board out front that advertises for it. So it's three dollars and ninety-nine cents, and you get two eggs any way you like. So I got mine sunny side up. You get bacon, a choice of bacon or sausage. I got bacon and then breakfast potatoes. So for four bucks, guys, this looks amazing. So let's go ahead and taste it. Get some bacon. Mm. Tastes like bacon. <laughs> Okay, this bacon is just the way I like it. Completely crumbly. Oh, but you know how hard it is to get perfect burnt bacon. So my drink was five dollars and my breakfast was four dollars. So if you're on a budget and it's a tight budget, maybe skip getting the drinks and just have water for some of the meals. Okay guys, so it is a beautiful day outside, so we are gonna go down to the pool and just lounge around and enjoy the sunshine. So we'll bring you guys with us. Let's head on down. Activity. My mom and I are going to be here at the Bellagio pool. We're going to spend a couple hours just relaxing, going and taking a dip because it is nice and warm. This is one of my absolute favorite things to do for free here in Vegas. All these hotels have such great pools. My one, uh, my one tip for you would be if you're here in the winter, check the hotel beforehand to see if they're going to be open. Not all the pools are open year round. Some are, but again, just make sure you check, you check your hotel website 
Um, and that way, you know, you get a free activity for a few hours. Okay, so we are actually on our way to lunch. We are gonna be going to the MGM Grand for their buffet, but to get there from the Bellagio, because it's a little warm out and I don't wanna, we don't wanna walk outside the whole time, we're gonna take the free tram. Zero dollars, completely free, and it's gonna drop us right at um, basically Park MGM, and then we'll take the bridge over. So let's get going. inside of the MGM Grand Buffet and we're here for lunch so I actually had a two for one my Vegas reward which means that we got two buffets for the price of one obviously for the weekdays it's $27.99 weekends I think is $36.99 I'll put the prices right here somewhere um, we're here on a Thursday so it was $27.99 and then there's tax. So with tax, it was $30.33. And then we are gonna be leaving an 18% tip of $10. So between both of us, um, we each are paying $20 a piece for the buffet, which is amazing to be here on the Vegas Strip for a full buffet. So I'm gonna add that to our total and then uh, we'll keep going and see what else we do for our $100 a day video. Carly's husband a present for letting me go on this trip with her and he collects pins. Isn't that adorable? I hope he likes M&M's. <coughs> and I got my daughter a drink Sprite, some socks, and there's Sprite socks and Coke socks and Coke socks, which I'll probably, I'll probably keep these because I like black and red. It's late in the afternoon and my mom and I decided to stop into Cafe Gelato. It's right by the pool, um, kind of in the back where the guest elevators are. And we actually had <laughs> a My Vegas reward. Shocker. So we actually ended up paying $7.04 total for two scoops of gelato. So, Mom, what kind did you get? Salted caramel, my favorite gelato. And it's I, delicious. And I got strawberry. Boring. But at least I'm, oh, yours matches. I was gonna say I match. <laughs> my so mom, do I. My mom just called me boring. <laughs> Getting strawberry when there's like 15 flavors. I like strawberry. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the scoops are actually really big for single scoops. This is a good size scoop of ice cream and for the gelato. Other, the other nice thing is that the uh, cup is made from completely recycled materials. Oh, that is nice. Oh, no, wait. 100% renewable materials because we think cups made from plants are better than cups made from oil. And there you go. There's your TED Talk. But, um, so we're just going to have a quick snack and then we're going to go and gamble for a little bit because um, I have some free play, again, from my Vegas. So um, we will finish up our ice cream and then we'll see you guys over at the slots. Okay. Okay, guys, so I have $25 from my Vegas and free play and we are gonna um, try and find a low volatility slot machine 
so that we can just kind of take our time, enjoy ourselves, get some drinks. So let me turn you around and let's gamble a little bit. cocktail which I think is champagne orange and maybe grenadine or cranberry juice I can't tell but it just tastes very champagne and one of the few alcohols I drink is either champagne or prosecco so I actually only got iced tea because I don't drink alcohol but she was nice enough to bring me the bottle which is amazing and um, and a water and a water. Okay, taking this off for a second. And this is the greatest thing with sitting in the casino. Even if you're only betting low, we're betting 25 cents a pool, which is very, very low compared to what I normally do. But the drink service was great. You can get alcoholic beverages, you can get sodas, you can get waters. Um, and we tip a dollar a drink, so I tipped her three dollars. So I'll go ahead and insert our updated um, balance right here and well, let's continue on. So we had $25 of free play. We had to put a dollar in to cover our bet and we won $40.25. Not bad. Hi guys, so we are here at Ellis Island and we are in the Village Pub, which is kind of like their cafe area. And we are here for dinner, obviously. So my mom and I each have about $20 left over. So it's just enough for dinner. But if you've never been to Ellis Island, it's basically around, um, if you go through Bally's and exit through their food court, you walk down Flamingo and it's about a block down. So it's pretty quick. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend walking alone if you're by yourself at night, but if you're with someone else or if it's daytime, then you should be perfectly good to go. And it's really cute in here. Uh, they don't allow any kind of filming, so I couldn't take any photos or anything inside the casino. But inside the restaurant, it's okay. So we're gonna order, and then I will show you the food as soon as it gets here. getting the steak special for $7.99, what you would need to do is when you come into Ellis Island, you sign up for a player's club card. And there's just little kiosks, it's completely free. Um, so when you get your player's club card, it looks like this. And then you need to spend $5 on a, on a machine. You need to basically go and um, play $5 in the casino. And then you go back to the kiosk and your, the kiosk will then print out a coupon for you to use for the discounted dinner. So it's just kind of fun to do, um, especially if you're a gambler, you never know if you'll actually win something off that $5. But I came here, we didn't win off my $5, but that's okay because it took a couple dollars off my dinner, so I feel like I'm a winner and anyway. <laughs>
Okay guys, so we are done with dinner. We're back at the Bellagio, but no night would be complete without a walk through the conservatory and a fountain show. guys so we are back in the room so hopefully you had a fun time with us um, I will leave our totals right here somewhere so you can see what my mom and I each ended up at with our budget if you guys like this kind of video if you like seeing challenges uh, leave me a comment let me know down below what you'd like to see next um, if there's a monetary challenge or something similar um, or something completely different but that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing that you can still have a really fun time on $100 a day, including room, including food, everything. Um, and I hope that you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.